Hi, this is Nika. Hi, this is Kim. And this is The Current. Current. So for today's episode, as you can see, we have a half of a pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, bought one and cut it in half. So, so today we're going to carve pumpkins. Well, pumpkins. We're going to make a jack o lantern. So, um, while I'll tell I'll tell you a little bit of the story about jack o lantern and why do we carve pumpkins um, during Halloween? When did it start? Okay, so yes. let's start. Start the car. carving. <laughs> Don't judge our cards, okay? Especially mine because Martin is an artist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go Mika. Okay, so Jack O' Lantern. Jack O' Lantern is um. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> this is. No. <laughs> oh no! The Jack O' Lanterns are part of Halloween tradition, so it's mainly used to. Um, it's they are pumpkins with carved faces. Nowadays, it's not only faces that they carve; it's a more of design. Mm -hmm. And some, I sometimes see witches or cats or. Whatever you want to carve in a pumpkin that's considered already a jack o oh, lantern. <laughs> they said, and I don't know if that's confirmed, <laughs> but that's what I see when you see when you search pin jack o lantern internet. When you search jack o lantern in Pinterest, I oh, it's a new one. I know, but I. I you will see a lot of um, different carved lanterns, mm -hmm. uh, pumpkins, and there. So, when, where did it originated? Originated? It said that it originated in Ireland. Mm, in Ireland. Yes. Originally, they used pumpkin heads. No. Oh no. I think <laughs> I'm not going. This is hard, huh? <laughs> this is very hard work. <laughs> How did you do that? Uh, oh no. no. Maybe the eyes of my pumpkin will not be leveled. So don't judge. <laughs> I can't even poke one hole. <laughs> Okay, so it originated in Ireland. So originally, they used turnips and cut holes in it to to be used as lanterns because they don't have electricity mm. back then. So just okay. to, to protect their um, torches, uh, oh, they have sorry. lanterns. How could they lanterns? Use turnips as yeah. So. Because of this, a lot of folk stories have been made. Okay. And the most known for, I will only tell you the most known for, Jack O' Lantern. So, I don't know who thought of the name Jack as for the lantern, but he is named Jack. So, Jack. Uh, he was first called as uh, Stingy Jack. Because he was lazy and a drunkard. Okay, so, that's why. So, I think I don't think that's what I thought, but why is it? <laughs> so, um, he is known in the town as lazy and manipulative. So, he deceives people for money. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because he's very lazy, so that's how he make a living. Yes. And then, so, because of his um, deceitfulness, Satan actually um, heard, heard of him. 
Oh. Because of that. So he's very well known for his stinginess and his haziness and disciplineness. So he has deceived many people already by this time because Satan has already recognized him. Mm -hmm. So being chased by a crowd of people who he deceived <laughs> and Oops. they were they were actually um, uh. um they were actually getting money from him mm -hmm. so they were asking where's my money take it out uh, i want to take it back oh, yes okay and then so Satan is said to transform himself into a coin because Jack actually asked him a favor. He said that uh, he would he would um, he, uh, would. How, he would <laughs> come with him to the underworld and um, do his uh, do the deeds that Satan wants him to do uh -huh. in exchange for in exchange for a coin. Mm -hmm. So for but, a, for, okay. Yeah, but Satan doesn't have a coin. He can only uh, transform into one. <laughs> and that's his powers. So he transformed himself for a while. And by this time Jack has a crucifix in his pocket. So he uh, put uh, Satan or the coin in his wallet and then put it in his pocket where mm -hmm. the crucifix is. And so Satan was trapped in, <laughs> in so that he did, coin. He deserved uh, Satan. Oh, yeah, he also. deceived Satan. Okay, and then uh, after that, he bargained again with Satan. So I will let you go um, if you gave me 10 years more to live, he said. And so <laughs> Satan let him go because he, he did not have any choice but to let him go. And then after 10 years, uh, Jack, Jack again was um, supposed to die and mm -hmm. Satan is going to collect him again. So <laughs> uh, so, uh, Satan went to the real world again, the human world again, and then he. Yes. He, he, what, what? He visited Jack again, okay. and then at this time, um, Jack was having trouble carving his pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, <laughs> okay. I'm really thinking my life is Okay? Okay. 
How did you carve? Look at the, what I carved and what you carved. <laughs> I need more workout. <laughs> Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> um, see, can visit again, Jack, after 10 years. Yes. And then, this time, um, uh, This time? <laughs> this time, uh, Jack said, um, I'm so hungry, I just need an apple from that tree. So they, uh, they met in like a worm or something and mm -hmm. Jack asked um but he was so tired to get that and so Jack asked Satan if he could okay get some apples for him just as a last meal mm -hmm. and then so Satan agreed and again and then he Yes. He went up the tree, uh, the apple tree, and that's when Jack encircled the uh, the tree with um, crucifixes. <laughs> <laughs> so Satan was again trapped. Trapped. <laughs> so uh, this time Jack's burden was to never retrieve his. Uh, human body okay. by Satan. So he was never going to hell. Mm -mm. So after this, uh, Satan again um, agreed and because he didn't have a choice and then went to the underworld again. And then <laughs> this is a word. Uh, and then after that, after many years Jack was um, again in the brink of death and mm -mm. he asked to enter heaven. Wow, okay. Yeah, but because of all these deeds, yes. he wasn't allowed to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. So he went to the underworld and asked Satan if he could take him. Mm -hmm. Take him to heaven or take him to hell? Oh, okay. Because at this time, he doesn't know where to go because his body is dead in the human world. Mm -hmm. He's he is not accepted in heaven and he is not accepted in hell. Mm -hmm. So he um, asked Satan if he could take him, and but um, because Satan made a promise to never take him, um, so he didn't. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but he gave. Jack a lantern so that he could light his path away from the uh, underworld and uh, roam Earth mm. with that lantern. Okay. And so at the time, um, pumpkins and turnips are used to guard the last torch. Okay. So that's why uh, he is known to be Jack o lantern because he is still a roaming mm -hmm. Earth. Uh, with his lantern. Oh, so that's the, the folk story of Jack O'Lantern. I don't. I know there are a lot of renditions, but this is just what I have researched and so far. Most of the renditions are resembling this one. So that's Jack O'Lantern for you. So, so he is really deceived. <laughs> he deceived Satan. Yeah. Yeah. Satan didn't even notice at first before you're doing the uh, favor. Yeah. Maybe because he is really a deceitful guy. <laughs> He's very um, impressive. Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, really mm -hmm. Is that Satan already? Uh. So how was your pumpkin? It's cute. <laughs> uh, it's crying. <laughs> and it has lovely eyes. So, don't expect much from this. 
I wanted to add a little bit of um, gold in its cheeks, but I don't think I can do that. So <laughs> stop here. This is my final. Okay, you did also finish. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me be. Let's show our work. Okay, so this is. To them first. I can't see it in the camera. <laughs> but this is a uh, my work. I can't see. This is my work. <laughs> this is my work. <laughs> oh, it has one too. Yes, it has one too. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? I can only curve a diamond. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> that. It's sloppy. It's, it's, it's really cute. Really? Mm -mm. That's uh, that's what I saw. <laughs> I think okay. we should we should light it up. Huh? Yeah, we will light it up for you. Yeah, to see. We have. What can you if you, you can show it show it to them later? Like like this. Okay. Like, my the whole thing <laughs> and my it doesn't even show. Maybe I should uh, I should carve a little more hole here. What? Because in the front, it's big. Mm -hmm. When you look at this one, it's barely showing. You know? Why, 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 why? It's barely showing. It's okay, I think it's okay, man. Yeah. Do you think it would dry up? I think it's dry. Right. Right. Okay, okay. I okay. do, 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 do. We have a light. <laughs> this is our torch. <gasps> oh, it's cute. Okay, how about yours? <laughs> <laughs> See? See? It's cute. Yeah, it's. Oh! oh. Wow! Okay. <laughs> oh, it's it's our first time carving a pumpkin because in the Philippines it's not really a custom to do this. But we did. And we enjoyed. Yeah. You, you did? I enjoyed telling you the story. <laughs> <laughs> the arm workout wasn't really that enjoyable. <laughs> no, but uh, it, it turned out to be a little bit cute. Yes. Yours is impressive. How did you do that? Pumpkins are very hard, no? Yes. Uh, because it has. Look at. Look at how thick this is. <laughs> so true. It's the first time for everything. Yes. <laughs> so we enjoyed this, and um, maybe you could try it at home also. Uh, just for experience. And in line with Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. And we hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.